This is tutorial 2-4 in, in GIS Workbook 2. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to put charts on the actual map, not just the layout. Um, we're going to start off by opening up our tutorial map. Uh, what we're going to be, this map is going to be showing us is a county in Texas. Um, what we're seeing already is percentage of Hispanic population and the red circles are Hispanic food stores and right now as you can see they are in high percentage of, of census blocks with high percentages of Hispanic people but when you're putting a store in you want to take more into account than just population one of the things that this wants us to do is look at housing status you would want to place stores in areas where there's a, a larger percentage of homeowners than renters or vacant areas, being that the belief that a homeowner is less likely to just up and leave than a renter. So you'd have potential longer clientele. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the attribute table for Census 2000. And we're going to be looking at vacant owner and renter and these are the numbers associated with it and this column right here is the total housing units in each census block if you were to add these all up it would equal this so we're just going to x out of there we're going to turn it on we're going to go into the properties and we're going to change the name to housing status then we're going to go to symbology and we're going to use the charts feature and we're going to be using a pie now you want to select the three that we're interested vacant owner and renter and you want to click this button to get them over here uh, the color scheme by default is always a darker hue um, but the colors over here are kind of dark so what we're going to do is give them kind of a bright color uh, to do that you just double click and they give us some colors to do the first one is a blue uh, big sky blue is what they want for vacant for owner they want a green it's the fourth one down and for renter they want purple which is this aster one down here and we'll click OK then click apply okay now I can move this out of the way and as you can see um, we can't see population because the background you just want to click on that this background box right here and choose hollow click apply again and there we go now we can click OK and as you can see the stores are in areas where there's a high percentage of homeowners and renters over vacancy um, over here would be kind of a hit and miss because you have a large percentage of renters in this area so the likelihood of in the future you might lose that Hispanic population to a different group to where they might not be interested in a Hispanic food store. So, and down here, while we have a high ownership, we have less Hispanic populations. So, it also would be a gamble to put a store around here. However, where they put it, there is a good combination of high Hispanic population percentage and homeowner percentage. Now, what they want us to do is open up the properties again and they want us to look at what the other graphs would look like um, I'm just going to move it over to the side here we're just going to click bar and we want to click apply and as you can see they're very tiny and these little lines here are just showing what graph is associated with what 
census block. So, but we can't really see that, so you're just going to click on size, um, put 200 in. It looks huge on here, but uh, once you hit apply, you'll see it's it's not super big on the map. It's fairly large, but it, it's not obscenely large. As you can see, the pie graph is a lot easier to read. Um, but with this, it, it's not too bad. This stacked one we're going to do next. And this puts it basically one one bar, but and we can't see, so we're gonna do the 200 again for the size. Click apply. See it's the one bar, but each layer, there's three layers and of different width. Um, once again, it's not the best for this kind of map so we're just going to go back to our pie graph and we're going to click OK and don't worry they'll be the, the size they originally were now what they want us to do is zoom it. go to a, a different zoom to see what happens to the pie graphs as you can see they kind of uh, reshape themselves to where they're, you don't have to go in and change the size. It does it automatically to what it sees as the best fit. And it always has these little lines to point at which, which bar or, or pie graph, bar graph, or stack graph goes to which census block or whatever shape file you're using. Um, it works fine with uh, at this extent with large to medium sized uh, polygons but as you can see it kind of gets clustered and confusing when you get into the smaller areas to which graph goes to which like this graph right here goes to this one right here not one in between those two and that is it for this uh, tutorial